What's up guys, Milfshake here. Um I got a little request from one of my subscribers, Mr. Cookie7, on how I record my Minecraft commentaries and he was considering doing it with a camera, but don't do it with a camera. It's it's really bad. So the program I use is called Wii Game. Type in Wii Game on Google and you go to Wii Game, download PC games for free, record games, yada yada yada. You download the client 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 and then download will start. Give it a sec. I already got it installed, so I'm not gonna bother. Go to Wii Game once you install it, of course. Log in. You gotta make an account. It's really easy. It's free. Don't worry. Go to Settings. Record hotkey. Hotkey usually default is F6, and I just kept it at that. Sound. Keep it enabled. FPS. I just have it at 20. Then recording. Full screen. It costs, but half screen. Believe me, guys. It's fine. Um. It's what I always record my Minecraft in, and it's worked out perfect for me, so just keep it at that. Then before you actually record, go to your volume control, whatever. Now, I have XP, and my computer, I had a lot of trouble recording the game sound in my voice, but what I did was stereo mix for recording. Have that enabled. And then for playback, I think for most of you guys, it should be called... A uh, what's it called? Microphone, but for some reason mine is called input monitor. And as you can tell, if I lower and higher this, my voice will like gradually increase and decrease. And then mute. I'm not gonna click that because then you won't be able to hear me. But yeah, you want to keep that on. And then one problem for me is that whenever I talk into the mic, I can hear myself. But after some time, I get used to it. But I'm pretty sure there are other ways of like recording without hearing your own voice, and you can record audio of the gameplay and yourself. But Everyone's computer is different, you're gonna have to experiment on that. So I can't really give you a good example. Now once you got that, you wanna open up Minecraft. Enter game. And then a little green little box at the top left will pop up. And you hit F6. Mine's a little glitched out, I have to keep opening Minecraft until it actually works, so give it a sec. Once you hit F6 it's supposed to disappear. Still hasn't worked. There we go. So right now we're recording. And then to prove that the sound works, um, let's go in our old world. Here we are. And then there we go. And then for th you're supposed to hit F6 again to stop recording, but mine's bugged. Whenever I hit F6 to stop recording, it just corrupts the whole video. So I have to close it at the end of every video, which is why you see me close the video, like in the end of every gameplay and I say like thanks for watching goodbye yada 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 uh, you see me close the game and not hit F6 so I don't know why it does that but what you want to do is go to your documents and then my Wii game videos and then here's the video just listen there we go so right now we're recording and then to prove that the sound works um, let's go in our old world there we go and then for th you're supposed to hit F6 here we are and then so there we go the sound works fine probably felt a little weird listening to myself but uh yeah that is basically guys how i record my wii game so thanks for watching rate comment subscribe and i really hope this helped you mr cookie bye oh and one last thing i forgot to mention i'm really sorry this is unprofessional but here's the video i just recorded for the tutorial of how i record minecraft but as you can say, it's 163 megabytes for a 3 minute video, which is quite large. And whenever I record Minecraft, the video is like 10 minutes is about 300, 400 megabytes. So there's a program called Handbrake that can decrease the size of it. Go to Google, type in download Handbrake. And then here we are, download Handbrake. Let's give it a sec. That's odd. Why is it not going? Alright, fuck it. Just oh, it went. But yeah, just download it, install it, and then here's Handbrake. Basically, you go to Source Video File, and then here's the clip I recorded. It was 165, but you just choose that. I'm not gonna actually do the process, but yeah, this is my video, 300, th 3 minutes 35 seconds, and then destination you browse. I usually keep it on my desktop. Name it something, and then hit save. Then you hit start and at the bottom it will start encoding. Let that finish and then close it and then you'll have the video done. 
but it'll be in this kind of or where is it this kind of a format you won't be able to really open it but I just upload it from there because I know it's gonna work fine although then again it might be different for you guys but that's pretty much how you uh, decrease the size like if I have a 400 megabyte video it'll cut it to about 80 to 100 megabytes so it's really helpful and the frame weight frame weight frame rate is still really good so yeah that, it's a really good program do not use Windows Movie Maker I tried that it fucks the whole frame wake up frame wake I gotta stop saying that the frame rate over so yeah just use handbrake and thanks for watching and now rate comment subscribe and see you guys later